superior Cadillac crown? Yes. Now this is specifically a hearse. It is. Okay. Well, this was what they would call a combination. People are actually using this car for legitimate funerals. Yes, I've done three. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Two you, friends you of mine. Do you wear scary one... mask, or is it, no, you have no, to wear a suit and tie? I and... actually wear a suit and tie and a top hat. I was gonna say, look at this. Though that's a real deal cleaver. I made this. Wow. That, that's a movie prop, you said. It was a movie prop, yeah. That's pretty cool. Look for a TV show, Vegas Rat Rod. Hey everybody, this is Eric, and I have Lenny here from Lake Havasu City, Arizona, and we are getting ready to do a video of the Death Trap. The Death Trap is a monster freaking hearse, and Lenny, I'm gonna let you tell us all about this car, but you know, first off, what year is the car? Well, it's a 1958 Superior. It has uh, a 509 big block Chevy with a 671 blower. It's got two 800 quick fuel carburetors. So that's right up here. Let's yes. take a look at this thing here. 509 cubic inch big block Chevy motor with a 671 blower and that's a 671 blower right there let's get close here and two two 850 quick fuels and those are the two 850 quick fuel carburetors and those fuel lines look like they're pretty thick fuel lines I'm sure this thing kind of Sucks up a lot of fuel, doesn't it? Eh, it gets about three miles to the gallon three at, at an idle. <laughs> this is not, this is not your road cruiser truck or our car, then, is it? No, sir. No. And I see it set up as a race car. We talked about that a little bit off camera. That this is the real deal race car. Tell me a little bit more about that and like. It's set up as a gasser because as a kid growing up, that's what I liked. Uh, kind of antiquated technology today, but I still like it, and a lot of other people like it. Uh, it has the straight front axle. It's a half ton Chevy. Uh, no, actually, it's a three quarter ton Chevy uh, truck axle that's in it with uh, one ton springs. Wow. These springs here, those are one ton springs down there, right? Yep, okay. out of a newer Chevy truck. Now that looks like total new fabrication right here. Did you make this to support this particular? car it looks brand new yes everything's made from the firewall forward then the frame is tied because it's an x frame and the cars twist really bad okay so the, the frame is tied and then the ladder bars integrate with the with the frame so when you say the frame is tied to, to some people they don't know what that means what does that mean it has two steel bars that go from the front of the frame all the way to the back of the frame to minimize twist I see, because when, this when the thing car is launches. cranking a whole lot of horsepower it's now about let's take, 950 let's horsepower take a look at this this engine right here you said it's cranking about 950 horsepower? Yes, with about six pounds of boost. Just six pounds of boost to that big old blower? Yeah. Now what would happen if you turn up the boost a little bit? I'd probably I mean, get 12, 1300 horsepower out of it. All I gotta do is change the upper pulley. This pulley right here? Yes. Wow, that is bad to the bone. And I like what you did with the front. The front is very, very aggressive looking grill here. I mean, what? They're sharp, be careful. Yeah, they look sharp. It, was that something you thought of yourself that you wanted to do with this particular car? Or did somebody else come up with the idea? Or no, you it was a collaborative it was, effort? It was my idea and I've been trying to get around to it for two years and I took it apart three days ago and it's taken me three days to get that grill back together. So this is brand new basically? Yeah, I, I finished it last night at 11.45. Sweet! Because we had to do this today. The sacrifices he does, man, I'll tell you what, that's what I love about the car biz and car enthusiasts because they do whatever it takes to get the job done, all right? Okay, so now we're gonna look at this here. Those are not standard headlamps, I gather, because I saw the rings light up earlier. So this is a newer headlamp, uh, headlamps inside old school assembly. Yes. Okay, are these the LED style? Uh, they are not LED, uh, the ring is LED, but the center is not. Okay, okay, all right, okay. And they only light up red. Check that out, funeral. <laughs> this car is so cool, man. Now, they only light up red, you said? Yeah. That's cool. Well, they'll light up for white in the center, but the ring only does red. Gotcha, okay. Now, look at these here. This this wheel, I think I took a picture of the wheel earlier. Talk to me about this wheel. I mean, it looks like they're, you said they're bias ply, right? The tires? Yep. Bi bias ply, Firestone tires in the front. Right there. All right, now, what's up with the, 
the little crown there. A uh, the, friend uh, of mine bought me those for my birthday a while ago, and I thought, well, seeing as how the, the car is a superior crown, uh, those would probably go well on the car. Well, wow, what an appropriate touch. That's yeah. pretty cool. And I like this here. Those are kind of looking like the front grill there. So is this kind of like a theme throughout? No, no not really. Just no, here uh, and there? Yeah, just here and there. Okay. I, uh, I did those because I had them and uh, I couldn't find any for the rear because the back studs are 5.8 studs and for yeah. to be able to hold the weight and the horsepower. Right. And we're gonna, we're gonna take a look at those tires here in a second. One thing though I wanted to talk about here were the headers. Now it says, it looks like you have a decal that says hooker. Are these actually hooker headers in here? Well, no, no. they're really not. Okay. Those, those are actually uh, uh, Doug's headers. Doug's headers? Yes. Because those things, well, you guys are here. We did a cold start video and then we rolled on the road with it a little bit. This is just bad to the bone. Look at that. And the workmanship in this engine is just incredible. And you drive this car too, don't you? I do. I drive it all the time. Yeah. I, I drive it to the grocery store. I've used it for funerals. I've used it for a wedding. And look how clean it is. I mean, this is serious attention to detail. And I mean, Arizona, you don't get a whole lot of, you know, like the, the salt and crap like that in roads, but still you have a whole lot of dust and it'll rain. We came through some monsoons on the way over here from Phoenix and it's nuts, but this, this car, I mean, this is the Superior Cadillac Crown? Yes. Now this is specifically a hearse. It is. Okay. Well, okay. this was what they would call a combination. This yeah, would have been. Let's back up this so we can get a little bit better view. This would have been bought for a small town like Havasu that couldn't afford a ambulance and a hearse. So if you got into a car accident, they'd pick you up in this. Oh, man. It used to have jump seats in it, but they were removed. I still have them. Uh, the Let's rollers see. were removed, but I... Uh, oh, the rollers for the, for the caskets? Yes, because okay. I didn't okay. plan on using it for funerals, and it turns out that uh, it's, that's happening now. So. Wait, wait. People, wait, wait. <laughs> People are actually using this car for legitimate funerals? Yes, I've done three. No kidding. Mm -hmm. Wow. Two do, friends do you of mine. Do you wear your scary mask, or is it, no, you have no, to do that suit and tie? I and, actually wear a suit and tie and a top hat. No kid, a top hat. Yeah. Wow. I have a friend of mine named Top Hat John. He's going to love this car. So let's take a look inside here. Oh. Interior's not completely finished. Okay. I still need to do the kick panels and, and the door rails and stuff like that. Got to keep my butcher cleaver in here just I in was going to say, look at this. Oh, that's a real deal cleaver. I made this. But that's a movie prop you said? It was a movie prop, yeah. That's pretty cool. Look For a TV that. show, Vegas Rat Rods. Vegas Rat Rods. This car was in Vegas Rat Rods too, wasn't it? This car was not. My oh, other car okay. was. Okay. I was building this while I worked for the show. Gotcha. This is the real deal dashboard. Now, back in the day, was that actually the Cadillac dashboard? That is the factory Cadillac okay. dashboard, but that is replaced. The one that was in here was so badly damaged. Oh, I'm sure it was. The whole entire interior was just just tore apart. Is this an Arizona car? It's been okay. here its whole okay. life, yeah. So it kind of got well, beat up it, by it, the sun. Well, it originally came from California, but it's been here for 15 years. Okay. Now, Actually, probably me. 25 years now. Oh, that's a long time. Yeah. Now, talk to me a little bit about this this Hurst shifter here. I, when we were driving on the road, he just kind of like tapped it and whatnot. So what kind of kind of a shifter is that so people know what's going on when you're shifting this particular car? I know you just tapped well, on it. Well, that is, it's an automatic transmission. I'm kind of cheating, but it okay. is a four-speed shifter handle. Okay. That is out of a Hemi Dodge Charger, a oh. 70. Uh, the shifter, the actual, that just the shifter lever is out of the Dodge, but the actual shifter is a B&M slapstick okay. for the automatic. Okay. So you just, you get it, it's a manual, Yeah. Uh, automatic, so you just, you got to manually it. shift it. I noticed you tapped it, yep. yeah. That was pretty cool too, because you don't have that, that lurch sometimes like you do with a, with a clutch pedal and whatnot.
camera we were talking about having a casual conversation about uh, some of the cool cars we have around here but then the conversation came to how you ended up with the death trap and then I just want to share the with the audience what the story is because it's just a really cool story man well I, I was explaining to a buddy of mine that I worked with at Premier Street Rods it was one of the sons I said I'm looking for an old hearse and he's like wow why, why, why would you want something like that and I said well I, I want to build something that's going to create awareness for kids about driving impaired or texting or whatever and this could be your last ride that's pretty cool and uh, he went to his computer he comes back he says we have an appointment to go look on at noon it's in a storage locker here in Havasu no kidding and when I showed up there was like 20 guys there wanting to buy the car and I just happened to have worked with the guy that owned it didn't know he owned it right and he's like Len if you want it, your car seriously yep that quick yep and he, and he gave it to me for a thousand dollars less than he was asking for it really and other people were pretty upset though <laughs> well you know what it's his choice he's a seller and he can sell to whoever he wants to right so now this was a work in progress we know so how long ago did you make the purchase of this hearse Oof. good question isn't it it has let's see it's been on the road for two years it has to be five years okay it it sat for a long time uh, I got really sick and I wasn't able to work on the car and I actually sold the car because I didn't think I'd ever get to it. Really? But you never transferred the title, I'm gathering? Well, I <laughs> I sold it to a buddy of mine, and he never came and got it. It oh. sat next to my house for three years. No kidding. And one day he called me, and he's like, hey, uh, I, I, need a, I need a driver vehicle. And I was like, well, I just bought this Chevy Yukon, or GMC Yukon, and uh, he says, I'll, I'll trade you. No kidding. I'll, I'll, I'll give you the car back. So. Wow, yeah. perfect. Yeah. So. so now, you mentioned something. Didn't mean to interrupt you there. Go ahead. No, go ahead. Uh, okay. Yeah, well, he, he gave me the car back. So it was a cool story, though. So, you so it never left. About some movie. What, oh yeah. Talk um, about that. The car was what this I was. Car. Yeah, this car. Before it was all. Yes, uh, the, back in 1963. Okay. They rented that car for the movie HUD. HUD. Yeah. And that's with who? Uh, Paul Newman. No kidding. Yeah. So it sat See out. That car right there. Yeah, it sat out in front of the church. I'll be damned. And I can show you pictures on my phone of the car and how, you know, we know that that's the car. That's pretty cool. Maybe the viewers would like to see that it's the car in the movie. If you want to send me those pictures, like email I can do to that. me or text it to me, that way I'll, I'll put them on on the video. I can do so that. So now, obviously, we did a big video out, out there of the car. And forgive our, our appearance, because it's hotter than heck out there right now, folks. But um, I know you have some other stuff you want to do to it. But what is the coolest thing that you have done with that car that you think, wow, now this car makes a statement? What is that? There's got to be one single thing. On this car or yeah, any of on them? on this car. On this car? Yeah. I think just the motor. The motor is just obnoxious. It, it you know, it... <laughs> It gets your attention. That's a great term, obnoxious. Yeah. It does get your attention. And that's what it was. That was what it was intended to do. That's get your attention, cool. and it, yeah. does. it does. You drive it through a, you drive it through a car show. You drive it down the street. People are waving at you. People are stopping and taking photos of it. I've driven it up and down uh, Las Vegas uh, Boulevard. Boulevard. I've driven it up and down Rodeo Drive. I've I've had it all over, and no and everybody wants to see it. Everybody wants to talk that's about it. That's pretty cool. Yeah, it's definitely neat. I know when you and I went for a ride earlier today, it was brutally hot out there, and your car doesn't have air conditioning, so we're sweating buckets. But people were giving you thumbs up and smiling. And I remember we pulled off, turned right down the road, and this lady in this pickup truck was just ear to ear grin, just looking at you, just grinning. You're like, yeah, yeah, it's just me. I'm just cruising around with a death trap. Yep. And that's good. And I like, I like the reason you call it a death trap. Um, distracted driving is huge. It kills mm -hmm. thousands of people a year. And uh, if I'm on the road and I have to make a phone call, I use my, I have the earbuds today, yes. so I'm all, always hands free. But if I'm not hands free, I'm not on the phone. Yeah. I, don't, I don't believe in doing that kind of stuff, and it's but good. Believe it or not, that car has hands free. Does it really? Doesn't have AC. I noticed it had a new, new uh, stereo system yes, in it. It has hands free uh, phone in it. Scared no me to death the first time it went off because it's really loud, it? and I didn't know it was there. I, I, 
we installed the stereo, but I, I didn't. I wasn't aware that it had that capability. capability. So yeah. it's Bluetooth capability and hooked up to your phone. Yes. So when your phone rang, it freaked you out. Oh yeah, it it, it was loud. Really? Yeah. That's pretty cool. So. Wow. Well, we have one more thing to do with that car, and then uh, that's it. So folks, you got to check out this car. Oh wait, you're gonna check out this car on my, in my YouTube channel, Musk Cars with Eric. And if you want some really bad to the bone work done, you got to check out Lenny and his shop. And it is Chop Shop Welding Fabrication right here in Lake Havasu City. Is there an email or a website or something they can catch you at? Uh, yeah, uh, Chop Shop 1600 at uh, yahoo.com. Chop Shop 1600 at yahoo.com. Right here, folks. Love you. Hey guys, thanks for watching the last video. I hand selected a couple videos for you to watch right now. Click here.